Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm from St Anthony's in Sunderland. Lucy, I, I looked at your presentation and it, it, it's brilliant and it, it, it's really detailed. And I, to be honest, I don't know how you find all of the time to do the stuff you've done. But could you maybe just tell us about some of the things you've done, like um, your young CAFOD leader work? Oh yes, so there's a group of girls here today as well, and um, we're part of CAFOD Young Leaders. It um, consisted of like a couple of meetings where we went to different schools, we got together, developed our leadership skills, and then we went off and did some fundraising at schools, so we did like um, things for the harvest. It was absolutely brilliant, we got to meet loads of new people, um, and it was just a really good experience. So, and, and you did, you've done lots of other things as well, so you did, could you fill us in a bit about the journey Journey, journey for Justice. Journey for Justice, yeah. So in Sunderland, I don't know if any of you have heard, um, it was a civil rights campaign and it was led by um, a, a young lady at the time, um, Jean Stallings, was part of, like, alongside, like, she was an activist alongside Martin Luther King. Um, and I got the opportunity to work alongside her at the Winter Gardens in Sunderland, it's a lovely little museum. Um, and I spoke to loads of people about civil rights and then she came into the school and she did a lovely talk about um, bringing, like, justice in the modern day world as well. So yeah. And you've been involved with the Youth Parliament as well, haven't you? Oh yeah, Youth Parliament, that was really good. Um, every year we'd get together and we'd talk to other young people and we'd have like a vote um, just in Sunland City Council in the Civic Centre. And last year it was about mental health, which is a really important issue. And this year it was curriculum for life, so it's been really good to get involved with other young people. Excellent. And then in between that, you've been helping out at church and doing all those kind of things as well. Yeah, yeah. So because you, your dad, and I've been in church and then especially we've got Sister Josephine and Sister Frances Chaplains at St Anthony's. So I've been doing a lot of stuff in school with Mass as well. Fantastic. Thank you. See you guys, I, I, I was just blown away. Um, when I was asked to do this and talk, and talk to you, um, I received your presentations and the presentations are just absolutely phenomenal in all the things that you do. And I know that's just a sample of everything that's being done here by people out there. You were just the ones that were brave enough to come here and talk about it. But I know your experience is the kind of experience that people have had out there. So um, I just really got one last question to say to you. What would you, what would you say to, to some young people if they're thinking about doing the JP2 award, what would you say to them? Um, I definitely think that everyone should do it. It's something which should be encouraged in like all schools. Um, it's absolutely, it's, it's made me more confident, if that's possible, <laughs> get too confident. Um, but I definitely say it allows you to see um, what other people are capable of.